Classes were disrupted for more than 400 students at Camilo Iki Elementary. Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. A strange order that lingered on the campus at that elementary school this morning was followed by a mass evacuation. KITV4's Andrew Pereira has our top story at five. Andrew. Paul, firefighters say they also smell the strange odor when arriving at the Hawaii Kai School. But so far, the source of the odor remains a mystery. Flashing lights on emergency vehicles, not what any parent wants to see when arriving at their child's school. Worry set in when Camilo Iki Elementary blasted emails and activated a phone tree. I guess I was a little bit panicked. You usually don't like to receive a phone call like that. The school informed parents of a strange odor permeating around campus. It began in the C building at about 9 a.m. It smelled like gas and it was like terrible smell. The immediate suspect, a pesticide like melathion, which forced two Eva Beach Elementary schools to keep children in classrooms on Monday. As the smell spread throughout the Camilo Iki campus and children became ill, the school activated its crisis plan. We checked around, seeing if anybody was spraying uh, something around there in their yards. Uh, didn't see anything. But the smell was there. Honolulu firefighters used field meters to try and pick up a positive reading. We haven't been able to find a source or actual uh, confirmation of a release, but we have detected very uh, faint odor ourselves in some outside areas of the campus. As HFD converged, 16 students received a once over from paramedics. We lined them up inside the library and we went through checking each one for their vitals. The ambulance asked how I did. They checked my blood pressure, my temperature. Two 10 year old girls were taken to the hospital after complaining of nausea and a dry cough. With the smell inside some classrooms, the decision was made to get out, as in off campus. About 450 students and staff made the one and a half mile trek to Kaiser High. Everybody like, thought it was um, a bad smell, so we had to go here. Relief parents were reunited with their kids on the Kaiser campus, a happy ending to an eventful day at school. Everything seemed to be very organized, people were calm, um, the communication was excellent. Now, in 2007, Mayor Kirk Caldwell helped pass a law through the state legislature that requires labeling on pesticides. The labeling must explain how to safely use the pesticide to protect health and the environment. Again, it's, not, it's unknown what kids and staff at Camilo Ike Elementary smell today. Paula, back to you.